Hey, Cortana. That is right. Microsoft's personal digital assistant, Cortana, is now available on iOS and Android. You will need a Microsoft account, which you have if you've ever had a Windows machine running Windows 8, a Hotmail account, OneDrive, or an Xbox. Sign in to allow Cortana to access your location, send notifications, and raise your firstborn child, and then you're good to go. I am already a fan of Cortana's notebook feature. It allows her to keep a record of what I've asked before I even ask it, and she will become more like the helpful assistant that Siri has yet to prove herself to be. And in other app news, the previously announced Google Play Music Family Plan is now live. For $15 a month, six people can use the same Google Music streaming program. And Yahoo said today that it has officially scrapped plans to spin off the Chinese e-commerce company Alibaba. Instead, one of the last remaining old school internet companies will sell off its core business instead, including its stake in Yahoo Japan. Maybe they'll even come up with a new name that someone did not make up in their college dorm room. They are calling this a reverse spin off, which means they'll be selling off web properties, including search, email, media, and advertising. Why, you ask? Taxes. Since Facebook announced its instant articles, we have been wondering how publishers were going to use it to make money. It turns out the publishers have been wondering the same thing. In case you're not familiar with the feature, instant articles lets you get quick access to the news articles you want without waiting forever for downloads and without even leaving Facebook. It wasn't for every article. Facebook made deals with over 100 media companies, including National Geographic, Mashable, The New York Times, and others. And today, Facebook is making a few changes to the advertising policies for these publishers. Instant articles that will allow news outlets to include more advertising in each article and to sell Facebook-only campaigns. The Wall Street Journal reports that the tweaks are in re response to feedback it gleaned from its partner publishers. Previously, publishers were only allowed to place one ad for every 500 words they published in an instant article. Now they can put an ad every 350 words. Apple is not getting into the live TV streaming business anytime soon. According to a comment from an executive at CBS, Apple has put live TV plans on hold, at least for the immediate future. In other words, Apple was the one who walked away from the negotiating table this time. With all the problems over streaming music, Apple is finding that dealing with the TV media companies is even worse. Bloomberg says Apple isn't giving up entirely on releasing a live TV service. The so-called skinny bundle has met with a lot of res resistance. Hollywood does not want Apple to offer a streaming package of a dozen channels for $30 to $40. That's what I would like. Sources say the media companies want more money for their content. Netflix is adding hourly workers to its parental leave plan for moms and dads too, which means I will watch more Netflix in solidarity. Everyone deserves to have a parental leave policy that lets them take off as much time as Mark Zuckerberg, and they deserve to work in an environment where it's okay for moms and for dads to take that leave, but so often those plans are limited to highly skilled salaried workers of a certain income level, leaving those in hourly jobs with no leave at all. That was the case with the unlimited family leave plan that Netflix offered back in August. But now Wired says hourly employees will also get paid parental leave. Hourly employees in the Netflix DVD by mail division will get up to 12 weeks of paid leave. Customer service will get 14 weeks and hourly streaming division employees will get 16 weeks.